All right. So as I burn money on the right, uh, we're going to go over the news. So really quick, one thing I want to go over really quick is that tomorrow, um, during the day that this, I mean, it's going to be out either way, but on Monday, the day before reset, you should be getting your last Camilla ticket on uh, the banner. So that should put you at 14 multis if you've been logging in every single day, which means that you should be having the choice of whether or not you should pick Blue Lilia, Green Valenti, or Blue Demon Meliodas on the banner. Um, just really quick, if you don't have Blue Lilia or you already have all three characters, go for Blue Lilia. Her dupes are going to be more valuable than any of them, I think. Um, if you don't have Green Valenti and you want her, go for her. She is kind of a good character in certain situations. Like, obviously, she's there to kind of stop pin teams and stuff like that. But uh, she's just a high resistance sort of character. She's okay in certain sorts of situations, especially if you don't have her, go for her if you don't have it. Um, I would say the least valuable one here is going to be Demon Meliodas, and that's just because you can pull him on other banners. He's on the part two tickets. He's, he's already, like, he's able to be pulled in the game pretty much at any time. These other two characters are OC characters, so they're only here during OC banners. So yeah, just my two cents. There you go. Anyways, as you can see, we have a double Gloxenia banner, and I've already kind of skimmed through the notes a little bit just to see if it was actually worth making a news video on. And uh, it seems like we've got some decently interesting stuff. So obviously we have red and green Gloxenia. From my understanding, I think the red Gloxenia is the better of the two. I'm not quite sure which one is the coin shop unit because I don't really know a whole lot about Gloxenia, but uh, he is a pretty cool character. I think um, if you're into fairies and stuff like that, he might be actually a decent pull for you, but obviously there's a festival going on. I think they're releasing this as a skip banner, so just be aware that this isn't anything super crazy that you have to go for. I don't think I'm going to summon on it. I think I'm just going to save because I really don't have any interest in Gloxenia as it is, so... Uh, by the way, if you if I say she, it's because I, it's because I I look at it and I immediately think it's a girl, but I know it's a man. It's a dude. I know it is. I'm just I'm bound to say it at some point. Sorry. Um, anyways, so it looks like the green Gloxenia has two different debuff cards and an ultimate, and then the other one has a debuff card and a heal, which is kind of nice. And then the ultimate is the same, obviously. Um, other than that, can be acquired through the Guardian of the Sacred Tree pickup draw. Very cool. Um, there is going to be some new events. Uh, two times auto clear patrol tickets from patrol missions. So that is kind of nice. You're going to be able to get uh, the extra, you know, clear tickets and everything like that. Um, play count event reward increase. I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. I'm thinking it might be. Um, they did this one thing where the uh, the daily missions gave you double rewards. I'm kind of thinking that's what this is, but I'm not quite sure because of the way they worded it. Play count event. Uh, it could be something different that I'm I just don't know of, but I think that might be double rewards for your uh, daily missions and stuff like that. Uh, Mysterious Fragments from Daily Tasks is also here. I don't know what this means. I think that means we might be getting another exchange shop, which is kind of interesting because there's already two exchange shops and a bingo event going on. So there's a ton of free rewards already. And uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, this right here is kind of cool. Friendship coin bonus when sharing with friends. So they're going to be giving us more... Uh, friendship coins and the only reason that this is actually relevant is because if you go down here there is a Leonis festival with friends where if you make friends and you share uh, and receive friendship coins you can now use these friendship coins to get the school outfit for Gloxinia which is actually pretty interesting um, the only problem I can see with this is um, I know sometimes they won't let you purchase cosmetics if you don't have the character. I'm hoping this is not the case. I hope that they'll still let you purchase the, the, the cosmetics like this out of the shop if you don't have a Gloxenia unit. But I don't know for sure about that just yet. Hopefully you can because obviously this is kind of a limited time event uh, sort of costume. I don't know if they brought this, uh, uh, this uh, outfit back on JP at all yet. But then again, uh, I, I just really don't know. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that out of the coin shop, whether we summon on the banner or not. If not, I mean, it's it's whatever. It's just a cosmetic for Gloxenia. Obviously, you would want to have that if you, you know, want to use Gloxenia. But I don't know what to tell you if we can't get it. Because, I mean, 
every, a lot of people are going to be missing out on it because I don't see many people summoning on the banner. Um, other than that, they are bringing the Black Flame costumes back. I'm assuming they're going to be doing the same thing that they're doing right now with uh, the... I can't remember, the, the Holy Knight sets or whatever that they have currently in the game where you can buy them for gems and they're going to be available for diamonds a little bit later. Hopefully they're doing the same thing here with these because I know a lot of people like these sort of extra cosmetic uh, sort of sets and everything like that, especially the Escanor ones and stuff like that. For the characters that you want to use, actually, um, I know that this set specifically, the Demon Meliodas one, might be a big, you know, big thing for a lot of people because if you didn't, uh, whenever Red Demon Meliodas came out, like way back when the game pretty much like first launched, uh, there was, um, you could buy this set only if you had Red Demon Meliodas. So I know a lot of people did that to get the extra uh, cosmetic set for Blue Demon Meliodas when he launched. So I think this is going to be the first time that this is available again, hopefully for diamonds. Um, so that way people can actually get that extra cosmetic set for their Demon Meliodas, of, and, you know, an extra UR set or whatever. So that'll be kind of cool. Uh, obviously, they're going to be having the three, you know, normal kind of sets that they end up doing for Galaxinia, which is really nice. And then uh, it goes over those. So the Black Flame Battle uniform sets return. Galaxinia's Wing Beat of Repose costume sets are out. And then obviously, they're going to be adding UR engravings for Galaxinia as they normally do with new characters when they come out. So that is pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, that was, you know, <laughs> what you wanted. Uh, this is a pretty good skip banner, and I'm really glad that they did because obviously the the people cannot take any more of these bait banners and stuff like that. Like at this point, there's been a collab, there's been a festival. People just people either need to save and continue spending on the banners that are out right now to try to get what they want out of them, or people just need to chill out and just save diamonds. So this is a good banner to kind of skip and just save on, unless you're really interested in Gloxenia for some reason. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys tomorrow.